NRA working this week to regain relevance, hosting former President Trump at a major event as it digs in, fighting a long legal battle over civil corruption charges. New York Attorney General Letitia James claiming that current and former leaders of the National Rifle Association, including Wayne LaPierre, misspent huge sums of NRA money. They use millions upon millions of dollars from the NRA for personal use, including for lavish trips for themselves and their families. The case alleging LaPierre charged over half a million dollars on private jet trips to the Bahamas for his family. LaPierre resigned just before the trial began, citing health reasons. His lawyers have defended his conduct in the trial. When he took the stand, he testified that he had no knowledge of the large amounts of money the NRA was spending on private planes and cars, but did not dispute dollar figures when presented with receipts and seemed to confirm using funds for personal travel. It's all happening as the organization also faces declining political and cultural influence. It used to strike fear into the hearts of politicians with its vast, hyperactive membership base and massive lobbying power. But tax filings show the organization has lost over a million members in the last five years, with dues down $14 million just between 2021 and 2022, according to an audit filed as part of the suit. The trial highlighting internal turmoil between leaders. But in a potential blow to the New York AG, NRA lawyers filing a motion asking the judge to dismiss a portion of the case. They say some claims have passed the statute of limitations and may not apply to the executives on trial. A decision from the judge on the motion still pending. It could be significant. What the judge is voicing doubt about are the claims against the individual defendants, not the NRA itself. Stuart Bishop has been in the courtroom covering the trial for Law 360. As one of the people on the attorney general's team said in open court, uh, what they're concerned about is that Wayne LaPierre could essentially, after trial, walk right back into his old position. The New York AG's office declining to comment, and neither the NRA nor LaPierre responded to our request for comment. The opening day of the trial, the NRA's counsel said in a statement that the AG, quote, cannot prove that the association or its board did anything wrong. While the case doesn't carry any criminal charges, it marks what seems to be a shift in how some prosecutors and victims are combating gun violence in the courtroom. The focus was once almost exclusively on holding shooters criminally responsible. But now prosecutors changing tactics, Letitia James scrutinizing the NRA's finances. And just this week, the mother of a Michigan school shooter becoming the first parent to be found criminally responsible for a child's mass shooting after failing to secure the firearm or act on warning signs. And Garrett is joining us now live from where that's happening. So, Garrett, given everything that you just laid out there, what is how, how should we be reading into former President Trump's appearance in front of this group tonight where you are? Well, Holly, I think it's a little bit about returning loyalty. Remember, the NRA was one of the first kind of mainstream conservative organizations to lend its imprimatur to Donald Trump back in 2015, 2016, when he was a New Yorker, former Democrat, no history of gun ownership or support for hunting or anything like that. But they embraced Donald Trump culturally pretty early in his political career, and he has long embraced them right back. He has spoken to them at dark times before, too, including a couple years ago, right after Uvalde. I covered that speech as well. So this is a very politically activated, very dialed in group of voters in a very important swing state in this particular case. It only makes sense for him to try to return their embrace, even if this organization is not what it used to be historically. Garrett Haig, live for us there, uh, where it's all going down. Garrett, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.